good morning y'all i am like so excited right now let me put my camera down hold on okay now i'm tilted but whatever actually f that i'm gonna hold it <laughs> today is my closing day and let me let's talk so this home buying experience it's had its ups and downs like i've had two realtors the first one i started with it were so many downs like it was rare that something went well but then randomly like my mom showed me a house that was on zillow and the house had an agent you know on that zillow website so i just hit him up and ever since then he's been in like i've had the most amazing home buying experience i'll talk a little more probably in another video about like what mortgage process i used but y'all everything has been literally smooth sailing until today closing day so I'm supposed to close today at one. Right now it's 12.24 and ever since I woke up at nine, there's been issues. Like, oh, we don't have this document and uh, blah, blah, blah. Like, we need this from you. I'm like, I already sent that. Da, da, da. Like, why are you doing this the day of? You guys hate me, don't you? But yeah, it's just been super crazy and I'm so nervous. My closing is in like a 30 minutes and I'm so scared. I am so scared. <laughs> Oh my God. I hope everything goes well, but how, I don't know. And I'm tired of living in my apartment right now because look at it, it's crazy. And I still have so much stuff to pack. <sighs> I just hope today is a good day. I mean, it's been raining in Atlanta for two to three weeks straight. And luckily today it's so sunny. I think it's sunny for me. But I will keep you guys updated on the process. OMFG, do I look stressed? Because I am. I just got back from closing. That was literally one of the dumbest experiences I've ever lived through. Thank God I didn't have like anything planned today other than closing because that stuff was crazy. Like I even still to this moment, I'm not happy. <laughs> like I've closed, I got my keys, all that. I'm still just like a little pissed. I don't want to eat. Maybe that's what it is. God. Hello? All right, I'll drive back down. Oh, uh, never mind. I don't even have time to eat because me and my mom are about to go through the house. But guys, like, the closing situation was so bad. I think it's bad enough to where I'm going to do a separate video just on how trash that whole experience was. Cause I have to like literally warn people about the potential things that can go wrong in closing. But yeah, now me and my mom are about to go to the house. I will give you guys an empty house tour. Ooh, okay, I lied yesterday, I did not show you guys my empty house tour i was just there was too much going on but i will show you guys today it's just the very next day jeez that is so loud but anyways i'm standing outside of my new house this is it a town home going up to the front door it's red okay there you go. So this is like the little mini entryway here. It's a regular door. Um, stairs. Duh. These are carpeted. Everything that's carpet is on its way out. I'm getting my flooring redone. This is the living room. I guess I'll put my TV there and have my couch over here. And here's like a little cute patio balcony space right outside in the front. So cute. Um, over here is where I'll put my dining room. Here's the kitchen. Okay, the guy who lived here, seriously though, F him. Thanks for putting your house on the market, but why do you have a fridge from the 90s? 
So he left all of his appliances, which are leaving today. I have some all new appliances coming today. The kitchen, I'm also getting the cabinets redone as well. Over in this little empty area, I think I'm gonna make this a breakfast nook. I have a deck in the back. We have a half bath here. You see, toilet in the sink and mirror. And then here, we have a pantry. Nice, kind of tiny, but it's gonna have to work. And then we come back over, like where we, this is where we entered, but to the right of that is downstairs. It's so dark and scary to be here all by myself. Here's another bedroom, it's the third bedroom. This is a really cool room because I mean, it's a bedroom with a full closet, like a decent sized closet, y'all. I don't know why my camera keeps getting so blurry. I'm so sorry. And a full bath, a full bath. And then access to the outside here. Um, yeah, this room's pretty decent. And then right outside of the room is a like closet, which is nice. And then the garage, which needs some serious cleaning. But I'll get to that today. All right, let's head back up. All right, heading upstairs. As soon as you arrive on the landing, it's a linen closet. Noise to the Right is a guest room. This is gonna be my office. These nice cute windows. Um, so many shelves. Oh, I'm so out of breath. All these shelves that I started taking down yesterday. So I'm gonna finish that up today. And then a full bath in here as well. Moving on down the hallway, we have the laundry room, thank God I'm getting new <laughs> washer and dryer today. So it's that, and I'm also gonna put in a sliding door because when these doors are open, they like take up the entire hallway. And then this room here will be the master bedroom with these stupid shelves. So yeah, master bedroom. master bedroom here's the master bath <clears throat> mm. double sinks that i'm going to replace toilet and shower baths combo that i'm just going to replace and have just a shower and then the closet kind of tiny but i'm thinking about you know, getting a sh uh, closet system to remedy that. Oh my God, this shelf actually is serving a purpose right now so I can stand and talk. Woo! It's such a problem that I'm, that I'm out of breath from doing that. But anyway, yes, I'm so excited. I'm so happy about this. This is my first time being here alone. And it's like so quiet. The neighborhood's really quiet. I'm so happy, so excited. Oh my God, I have some work to do. I'm gonna take these shelves down and I have like some deliveries coming all day. Keep up, keep up. Okay, actually I forgot to tell you guys, last night I went to Home Depot, which I feel like I'm gonna be a regular at and everyone's gonna know me by name. Also because every time I'm there, I'm asking so many questions, but I wanna do a Home Depot haul because you know, like once you are a homeowner, you're gonna spend a lot of time in Home Depot. So, first thing I got is this exterior door handle. I love how it's black and matte because it's gonna match my security thing. Let me show you. My security lock. This is on the inside. This is what it's gonna be on the outside, so. Ba -ba -ba. Next thing I got was this LA's Totally Awesome All-Purpose Concentrated Cleaner. It was like, four bucks or something that's why i got it all the other ones were like ten dollars but yeah i'm just gonna use this for exterior cleaning like my handrails and balcony 
outside. And then I got some multi-purpose sponges, odor band to like put under the cabinets because one of these cabinets smells terrible where the garbage disposal is, oh my God. to um, like fill in the holes when I take that stuff, the, uh, you know what I'm trying to say, the shelves, um, latex gloves, more gloves, a four pack of smoke alarms, fire extinguisher, and this pesticide. Like I think my HOA covers that, but What's the harm in doing, you know, the most? Baking soda and this little toilet thing. I don't know how to do this. Hopefully my mom can help me. But yeah, this is my Home Depot haul. Do you guys want to see like some other stuff? Okay, sure, I'll show you. So the floor in my laundry room is pretty trash. So instead of like getting the floor and redone, I bought these peel and stick tiles in this pattern here. I got three packs of them. Each pack comes with 10, so I'm gonna try to redo the flooring today when they move my washing machine. I'm gonna quickly like go stick these down. I also got Simply Safe. I have a whole pack. It's just so heavy, I don't feel like carrying it. But um, Simply Safe is my home security, so I'm gonna try to set that up today after I set up my Wi Fi. To be honest, I think that's it. So, yeah, I'm gonna get to cleaning and getting my Wi Fi set up and doing just some. Little, I don't really know what to call it. I'm, I feel a little overwhelmed right now because everywhere I look, I'm like, oh, I have to do that, I have to do that. I'm gonna get that, gotta get rid of that. Like, it's really tough, but okay.